Hello, it is I, IR Smart, and you know, I was thinking, because I went to go see Thor, Love and Thunder the other day, because you know, I always go to see the new Marvel movies when they come out, because I like them, you know, I like to go to see them, and I really enjoyed this one, more so than other Marvel movies I've seen recently, and I really liked it, it was funny, had good action, uh, you know, you have Natalie Portman coming back to play Jane again, which is great, and Christian Bale was in it, that was really cool, and overall I just really enjoyed this film. I thought it was funny, and it, I thought it was good. And then I was really confused, right? Because I went home, and I was like, hmm, I wonder what other people are saying about this movie. So I looked up some reviews, and immediately, I saw people were like, nah, this movie sucks. And it was really weird. I went to Rotten Tomatoes, which isn't that great of a website anymore, but I just checked it out of curiosity, and all of the critic reviews, there was like 10 of them that showed up, all of them were negative, and the main complaint I said was, that they were like, oh, it's, it, they tried too hard to be funny. Like, what? What does that even mean? It's a funny movie. Like, you tried too hard to be funny. Well, you wanted it to be more gritty and serious, I guess? I don't know. But my main thing is just... This isn't the first time this has happened to me. And it isn't just Rotten Tomatoes. I go, like, all over the place. See YouTube videos do this sort of thing. And just, you know, people on different, like, social media and stuff. They, it's always just this movie's bad. Right after I go to see something. I go to see a new movie. I watch it. I say, wow, that was really good. I had a really good time watching that movie. Only to find out that people hate the movie. It, it's happened to me so often recently, and it just upsets me. And I don't get it. So, today I'm going to ask the question, why are modern movies hated? Now, what I mean by this is it just seems like almost every movie that comes out these days just gets hated on. For whatever reason. Like, any new popular movie that comes out is like, oh yeah, it sucks. It's bad. It's whatever. Every new Marvel movie, yeah, it sucks now. It used to be good. It's bad now. Oh yeah, new Jurassic movie that came out? Yeah, that's bad. New Star Wars movie? Heh, <laughs> Star Wars is dumb. Alright, so no one likes Star Wars anymore. Star Wars movies are all bad, and they're all stupid. I liked them better when, when someone else was making them, when George Lucas was making them. They were, they were way better back in the day. And this just happens all the time these days. People are just like, oh yeah, anything new movie or like TV show, it sucks. It was way better, like, back in the past. And like, everything sucks these days. Everything's bad. And I'm just like, what? Where are people getting this idea? So I think my first main problem that I noticed is that everyone wants to be a critic. Right? Everyone wants to go online and share their opinion about a movie. And, you know, when you have so many people sharing opinions, the only ones that are going to really get attention are the really angry and really upset ones. Because, you know, if, if like 100 people are saying, you yeah, know, this is good, it's good, it's good, they're all going to get drowned out by the one person who says, hey, you like this movie? Yeah, well, it's actually bad. I think this is pretty obvious, it's pretty known. Pretty much everything on the internet. If you hate something, it's going to get more attention than saying you praise something. Now, to be fair, I actually do a bit, a fair bit of movie criticism myself. I've kind of gotten sick of it in, in YouTube videos because just, it just gets old. The stuff that's more sensational that says this movie is bad is always going to get way more attention. So it just, it just kind of sucks, man. Like, why, why is it like that? I mean, it's just how the internet is. I get that. Everyone wants to share their opinion, and it's always the loudest one. The, 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 the loudest one is always the most angry one. That's just how it is. And I think this just gets into human psychology and stuff. We just like to hate things, I guess, you know. We like to have public outrage for a bit before we move on to the next thing. This gets way into all sorts of stuff that's way beyond me, like psychology and sociology and stuff, which I know a little bit about, but like, I'm not going to get into it now. My main point is just focusing on movies here, because I just, I just don't get it. There's so much hater on movies these days, and it upsets me. Now, I think it's kind of obvious where I'm going right now. I'm going to talk about movie critic channels, because these upset me. And I've, I've mentioned my distaste for these channels before, but they're just everywhere, man. Like, there's new ones popping up all the time. And, you know, it, it started to, to really pick up, I think, around the time when, like, Last Jedi and that sort of thing came out. Where people really got in this trend of, you know, let's make two-hour-long-plus videos about why The Last Jedi is bad. Haha, so original. Even though there's a hundred other videos that do the exact same thing. And there's just so many of these channels nowadays. And they always, you know, I always, like, without fail, you know, have a couple of channels that come in recommendation. Whenever a new movie comes out, it's like, oh yeah, this new movie? Sucks. Happened with, you know, New Thor... Happened with Jurassic World, happened with pretty much every other Marvel movie. Where I'll go to a movie, I'll be like, I like that. And then I look at my YouTube recommendations like, oh, look at that channel. There, Here's their review on why they hate it. It's just, it's just so annoying. Because most of these channels don't even give fair reviews. Some of them do, don't get me wrong. But a lot of the more popular ones just hate on the movie. And that's it. You know, 10 minutes, this movie sucks, bam, million views. It, it's just ridiculous. Now again, that's how YouTube works. You make a clickbait thumbnail... You say this thing is bad, boom, you get a bunch of attention. That, that, that's how YouTube works. I get that. 
But I think it's more annoying how people just, the viewers actually like super get into it. And then they're just like, oh, well this YouTuber said this movie sucks and they made a bunch of good points. Guess this movie's bad. And I guess all these movies are bad. Look at all these movies they said are bad. All movies are bad now. And it's just, why do we do that? Like, we're not, we're not thinking, you know, how this is going to affect people. I don't really know where I'm going with this part, but it, it just upsets me. It really irks me the wrong way. I think that's a real word that I just used. It, it just upsets me, okay, this, to see all these videos, just so much just hate for movies. Why, like, why can't people just like stuff, all right? Why, why do you, have these channels, have to force your opinion on everyone else? It upsets me, okay? It really upsets me. That's why I'm making this video, because this stuff upsets me so much. But yeah, usually what most of these channels kind of just talk about in their videos is just like, oh, this new movie, it's got so many plot holes, you know, the CGI is just bad, it's just a whole CGI mess, you know, all the Marvel movies are just CGI good guy versus CGI bad guy, and there's nothing, nothing good about it, and all the Marvel fans are just stupid, like, imagine being a Marvel fan, that's awful. Anyway, I've literally watched every Marvel film just so I can make videos about it, but I, I'm stupid Marvel fans, am I right, guys? It's just, it's just ridiculous, but they hate everything, and it's always like, oh, the writing is bad. I don't know how many times, if, if I had a nickel for every time I heard someone say the writing is bad for any movie, not just Star Wars, but for anything, oh my goodness, I'd be a rich man, seriously. It's ridiculous how much, how many times I've had to hear some, someone say, oh, the writing was bad. What do you mean? And they never, they never elaborate further. They refuse to elaborate further. They just say like, oh, that movie you liked? Yeah, the writing was bad. Had plot holes. It was boring. Like, it's just, just all these weird things. I mean, I guess boring is a fair thing, but it's always just the writing. It's because they watched a video by someone who, like, made some actual valid criticisms. But then they just go into little tiny nitpicks. And everyone, and then it makes you think the whole movie is bad. And you're like, oh, well, uh, the writing was bad. Because you don't know how to sum up that whole video that you just watched. So you're like, oh, the writing is bad. It's just so annoying, people. But again, that's just what these channels do. And it's how they get along. So, I mean, I, I can't hate on someone for having a successful YouTube career. I mean, good for them, I guess. But it's just the way they're doing it. It's scummy, okay? I, I don't like it. So now we're at the point where we're just wondering, well, are all modern movies just bad? Like, do all of them just suck? Or what they're saying is true? Every movie is bad? Well, no. Obviously, no. I can point to many examples of recent movies that have actually gone over pretty well. Most, most you know, even the movie criticism channels don't have much on them. You know, like the Batman, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, which I haven't seen. I've heard it's really good, and I'm going to get around to it. But I haven't really seen much of any hate for that movie. And again, with the Batman, that was a really, really good movie. And uh, people didn't hate on it. And I was like... Wow, I'm actually relieved. I went to a movie and didn't see a bunch of hate when I got back. So there are, you know, good movies out there. But, you know, it's just so strange. Because people make it seem like all modern movies are bad. All modern movies are just remakes and blah, blah, blah. blah and they all suck. It's just, no, they, that's not true. It's simply not true. So don't go into thinking that all modern movies are bad. Because they're not. You know, you, if you start picking apart any story, you're going to find a bunch of problems with it. But that doesn't make it necessarily bad. But it's just, it can seem that way if that's all you're looking at. And that's, again, that's my main problem with these channels. They just look at, like, oh, this part of the movie is bad, but then the, they present it in a way that makes it seem like the entire movie is bad without getting into, you know, acting or, you know, any of the action or, you know, the comedy or any other good aspects of the movie. They just ignore it and focus solely on, like, plot holes. And it's, it, it's upsetting. And the thing is, even if a movie has plot holes, you can still enjoy it. You don't notice them until someone points them out, usually. Now, if they're glaring obvious, there are definitely movies where I'm like, that doesn't make sense. You know, if, if a, you know, big issue in a movie takes me out of it, that's a bad thing. But sometimes it's, like, minor stuff. Like, I, I see people, in, like, criticizing, like, Oh, Rise of Skywalker is dumb because Kylo flies a TIE fighter, and TIE fighters don't have hyperdrives. So, uh, that doesn't make any sense. It's like, really? There are way bigger problems in the movie, but people point out, like, tiny stuff like that, and it's, it's ridiculous. That's not something I notice in the theater. Now, something like Palpatine being not dead is something I definitely noticed in the theater and was upset about. But, you know, it's the little things people point out, and then they try and make the whole... I mean, I, I, Rise of Skywalker, it's a bad movie, don't get me wrong. But people do that with other movies, too. They point out the smallest things. It's so strange. Also, I think it's fair to mention CinemaSins. I really like this channel. I know I'm talking about how I don't like movie criticism channels. But from what I understand, CinemaSins is like a parody of, uh, of movie criticism. Because basically what they do is they say, like, everything wrong with, you know, this movie. And it's like a 20-minute video... And every time there's something wrong with the movie, they do a ding. Now, you'd think it'd be, like, pointing out actual things wrong with the movie. But most of the time, it's like, oh, this character's, like, coffee is, like, tilted slightly or something. Or, like, oh, that, that, uh, that like, car is parked weird. It, they always point out the strangest little things. It's stuff you don't notice. And it's just meant to be funny. Because none of these are actual valid criticisms. They do do valid criticisms sometimes. 
but most of their video is just comedy. And that's why I enjoy it, because it's just funny. They're essentially doing a satire of movie criticism. Like, oh, uh, you know, 20 seconds of logos, ding. Like, that's not, that's not an actual problem with the movie. It's just, you know, they're, they're being funny. So I see, but I see so many videos. Like, you look up CinemaSins on YouTube, you see all their videos, but then you see why CinemaSins is dumb, why CinemaSins is stupid, why CinemaSins is bad. You'd, people hate on them so much. And if I had to bet, it's probably most of these, you know, actual movie criticism channels who are just upset that they're getting made fun of. So that's just my theory. I don't know much about it. I mean, I know, I know a bit about it, but I don't, I don't know if that's the exact case, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. <laughs> so I like CinemaSins. They make fun videos. Yeah, getting back to what I was talking about, you know, it's still good to criticize movies. That's important, you know. We as an audience shouldn't just let studios pump out a bunch of crap. But also at the same time, if we just criticize everything... They're not going to listen to us. But, you know, it is still important to criticize movies and, you know, let these people who make movies know, hey, we don't want you to just crap out a ton of new superhero movies. It really seems like that's what Marvel's been doing lately. They've made some unique stuff. Like, I think Thor Love and Thunder was good. And I think, although Multiverse of Madness was kind of a messy story, I really liked a lot of things it did. It, it felt very different for Marvel. But the thing is, you know, if we just let movies just keep, you know, oh, new thing, here's a new thing, here's a new thing, we're going to get more movies that are just like Morbius, where it's like, you know, obviously everyone was like making fun of it for being the greatest movie ever. But in reality, it was a movie that was made because Sony thought, hey, we're making a superhero movie. Everyone likes superhero movies. We don't have to put effort into it. And the movie flopped because, well, it looked dumb and no one wanted to watch it. Yeah, my main point with that is that it's still important to criticize movies, but people take it way too far. Like, we don't need to criticize everything or else they're not going to listen to us. If we just say everything is bad, no one's going to take you seriously. So, you know. Criticism. I'm criticizing your criticism, so you can criticize while you criticize. Oh, that's an old meme. So, to answer my own question of this video, why are modern movies hated? It's because partly some of them are bad, but also partly because people just want to hate them, you know? Uh, I definitely, well, I don't know what the next Marvel movie is, but I definitely, you know, there are people who are just anticipating, oh, this new movie's coming out, I'm gonna make a video about why it's bad, because that's what my channel does, or I'm gonna go on Twitter or Discord or whatever, I don't know, and say, oh, this movie's bad, guess what, everyone, this movie sucks, you can't like it because it's this bad. And I think that's, that's, that's an important thing to mention. There's a difference between a movie being good, and, you know, like, a movie can be good or bad, right? It, it's one or the other, it's good or bad. But whether or not you like it is totally independent, you know? You can like a bad movie. Like, I don't know if you guys knew, you can like a bad movie, and you can dislike a good movie, right? Like, you know, I think one of the most famous examples is The Room which is a very, very bad movie. It has a really dumb story and it's bad acting, but that's what makes it so fun because the movie is so stupid, it's really enjoyable to watch. I think an example of a, of a good movie that I don't like, I mean, it's just pretty much any Oscar winner because I guess, you know, anything that wins an Oscar is going to be, like, good, but most of them are just, like, character stories that look super boring to me. So I don't know. I don't watch them very often, but occasionally I watch something like, oh, this won an Oscar, and I'm like, I mean, that was good, I guess. But I was bored out of my mind. I'd rather go watch a Marvel movie. Because, I mean, that's just me. Whether or not you like a movie is a personal taste thing. And I think that's what a lot of people don't realize. They get so caught up in, like, oh, I can only, you know, uh, you can only like movies that are good, right? And, like, oh, this movie's bad. Can't like it. It's bad. I don't like this movie. It's bad. Which, I don't get that. Why do people base whether they like a movie based off of somebody else's opinion? Watch the movie for yourself. Make your own opinion. I, I don't get that. It confuses me so much. Also, another thing, right? Like... I don't know why people make it seem like all modern movies that come out these days are bad. Like, oh, you know, back in the good old days of, like, the 80s or whatever, all the movies that came out were good. Like, no, that's not true. It's just we remember all the good movies. Like, I, I can't even get to how many... There's a ton of good 80s movies, don't get me wrong. Like, 70s, 80s, 90s, ton of great films that came out during this time. But there's also a ton of bad ones that people don't remember, you know? If you're old enough like me and you remember going to a blockbuster in the thousands... You know, you had all the new movies up front, all, and all the popular movies, too. It was, like, new movies, popular movies, and then there was the whole rest of the store, which had so many obscure movies. I can't even name any of them off the top of my head, because you just saw this, and you're like, what is this? And you ask your dad, and you're like, Dad, what is this movie? And he's like, I don't know, I've never even heard of this thing. Because so many movies just came out over, uh, over the years, and, like, people don't watch them, or they don't care about them, or they just forgot about them. You know, it, it's not like bad movies are a new thing. They've existed since the beginning of time. And they're honestly just kind of fun to dig up like an old movie, like, oh, nobody ever watched this movie, but he here it is. So, I don't know why people all of a sudden think like, oh, this new big budget movie is bad. So I, I guess that's part of it, you know? But I don't know. 
Anyway, I love. I wanted to mention Blockbuster. I love Blockbuster so much. It was such a cool thing. Can it please come back? Like, I know it's not relevant anymore, but I just... I had so many good memories of going to Blockbuster, man. So, anyway, this video was, you know... I kind of, you know, meandered here and there. My main point in this video is just have your own opinion on movies. When you just go watch a movie and decide whether or not you like it. If it's good or bad, let the movie critic channels decide that. But just enjoy movies, right? Like, I, I stand by the fact that the sequels are bad. They're bad movies. I'm not going to try and make you think that they're good. They have a lot of good parts to them. But overall, I'll say they're bad. Okay, they're bad movies. Episode 8, my favorite of the sequels, is a bad movie that has a lot of good parts in it. But overall, it's bad. And I really like it. You know, all of it. I, I, I like it. I like the sequels. I just enjoy watching them, okay? That's my thing. The thing is, I say I like the sequels. People are like, oh, don't you know how bad they are? Don't you know how bad the writing is? Don't you know? It's like, okay. What about, you know, the amazing acting and all the amazing characters and stuff? Yeah, it's ridiculous, okay? My main point is just like movies, people. Don't be so negative all the time. Form, form your own opinions, okay? Don't be so reliant on other, like, people reviews and stuff. You know, watch them. I, I watch reviews sometimes out of curiosity, but I always wait till after. Like, I don't imagine, like, why, why would you watch a movie review before you watch a movie? Because then you're just going to go into that movie with that other person's opinion. And, like, why would you do that to yourself, right? So watch a movie. Make your own opinion. Be your own person. Take take my opinions into heart, but also have your own opinion. Because, yeah, anyway, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching. So, um, anyway, oh, you, you like the new setup? Yeah, we got these new curtains. Like, I, can, I have to show you the desk. The whole new desk. This new chair. Dude, everything's so nice and new. My, you know, the, 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 my room here. or I'll call it a studio, cause, but it, it's just my room. It's so nice. It's all coming together. I'll have to do a setup tour sometime. Because everything's super nice over here. But anyway, this is the end of the video, so, uh, so bye.